Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. I have some friends with me today. They're not plants, they're not animals, but they are alive and they are one of nature's best recyclers. Welcome to the world of mushrooms, which are actually a type of fungus. Mushrooms are a type of fungus and they come in many different shapes and sizes and colors and their favorite place to grow is in the forest because that's where they do their job, recycle nature. Now all mushrooms have basically the same parts and some mushrooms might look pretty boring when you just take a glance at them. But when you start to explore mushrooms, you see some of their parts are really beautiful and interesting. And today we're going to do a mushroom dissection to take a look at some of these different parts. Now if you wanted to find your own mushrooms so that you can explore them on your own, you can find some at the store and those would be safe to eat. You can also find them in the woods and those are things you definitely do not want to eat. To do a mushroom dissection, we could actually use our hands and fingers, we could use a scissors, or we could even use a plastic knife. Now when I went to the store to buy these mushrooms, I found whole mushrooms, and then I actually found these bigger mushrooms with just the cap, where you can clearly see this part of the mushroom called the gills. Now when you look at a whole mushroom you get from the store, you're actually looking at the fruit of the fungus. This is the part that helps the fungus reproduce. There's actually a whole lot more to this fungus under the ground. It's called the mycelium, and that mycelium is the part of the fungus that does all the recycling of nature, all those insects and dead wood. So let's start dissecting this mushroom. Now you'll notice on this mushroom, I can't see these beautiful gills like I can on this one, but that's because they're hidden with this veil that's covering them. So I like to start by pulling off the stalk. And the nice thing about mushrooms is the stalk comes off relatively easily just by bending and pushing. You can see the stalk popped right off. Now we've zoomed in so you can see this better, but with the stalk popped off, I can pull back the veil and now I can see these beautiful gills on the mushroom. And now I want to just gently start pulling back that veil. I can use my fingers and you can see it just pops off. Or I could come in with the scissors and clip some of that off. You can actually see these delicate folds and flaps of all these tiny gills. And you can notice those gills look a lot like these gills on the bigger mushroom. And even different types of mushrooms also have gills. The gills might look a little bit different, but I can still see them if you look carefully. Another thing I can do if I want to dissect a mushroom is actually cut it in half. And to do that, I'm going to use a scissors. I'm just going to hold up my mushroom and carefully snip. And then take a look at how the mushroom looks. We'll zoom in and take a closer look. It's a lot easier to see the different parts of the mushroom when I cut it in half. I can see the stalk. I can see the cap, and if I look carefully, I can see the side of the gills and actually a little veil covering the gills. The nice thing about mushroom dissections is that it works just as well with my hands. You can see how cleanly and easily that broke, and I still get a nice view of the gills. So the next question is, what are those gills for? What's the purpose of these gills? These gills actually hold millions of tiny, tiny spores, and those spores help that fungus reproduce. And just like mushrooms come in different colors, spores also come in many different colors. Now this is a different type of mushroom and we picked this one because it has lots of spores and those spores are ready to come off and it's very easy to see. So check this out. I'm going to puff on this mushroom and we'll hopefully see the spores go airborne. We've zoomed in so you could see the spores. Watch carefully. Here we go. If you saw something that actually looked like a puff of smoke, that was actually the spores. Let's take a second look at that. Watch carefully. Here we go. As I rake my finger over the top of that mushroom, you can even see the spores puff up with every tap. Now to take a closer look at those spores, we need to get creative. And that's what we're going to do on our next video. Take a look at this. Look at these intricate patterns. Those patterns are made by spores from mushrooms. And we're going to show you how to make them. Not only are we going to look at the cool designs and patterns in these different spore prints, we're going to show you how you can turn them into a cool project.
Dissecting mushrooms is a great and easy way to get started exploring the world of mushrooms and fungus, one of nature's best recyclers. If you want to learn more about fungus and life cycles, check out our channel, Fun Science Demos. Science is so cool, sometimes it smells a little funny. Thanks for watching.